Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This video has to do with CCW or even open carry for that matter and it has to do with habits. Now many videos talk about things that you need and all the decisions that you have to make when you decide to carry a gun. Everything from what gun you're going to carry, how you're going to carry it, the holster, the gun belt, all those are decisions and you have to constantly make decisions when you decide to carry a gun. The world is filled with flat squirrels. They're the squirrels that go in the middle of the road and go back and forth and don't know which way to go and boom, they get run over and they are dead. That just happened to me last week. Kind of felt bad about that, but I made my way to the range and felt better soon after. But nonetheless, it's not one of those types of videos. It has more to do with the mindset of the carrier. And the first one I wanted to, to discuss is that you should never use your gun as a form of intimidation. We see this. So when somebody gets mad, they get angry. It may be road rage. It may be that somebody violates you. Somebody calls you a name and you get upset and you're carrying a gun and you want to get even. You want to make yourself known. You may take the attitude, I'm not going out like that and you use your gun as a form of intimidation, that will get you locked up. Many states have brandishing laws, or other people will reach for their gun, they may expose their gun, say, you wanna mess with me, check this out. And they find themselves on the wrong end of the law, they may be sitting in a jail cell because they did not have the self-restraint, discipline, or the ability to avoid that scenario, and you never want to use your gun as a form of intimidation. You have to use your gun as a way to prevent great bodily harm or even death. And anything outside of that, you could find yourself behind bars. Secondly, is that we have to understand that minding our own business is essential. You have to mind your own business. I remember a couple years ago, there were these thieves running out of Home Depot and these Home Depot employees were chasing after them and they're making a big ruckus and this lady pulls out her gun and starts shooting at the cars that's driving away. Okay, that made big news. It made all gun carriers look bad and she had nothing to do with that. We see other times when people involve themselves in other people's disputes, you know, and they were not there from the onset to truly understand who was right and who was wrong. I'm not saying don't help people in need. We should do that. But if nobody is in great bodily danger, and it is best to stand back and be a good witness. So in the case something does happen, that you will be there to give an account as to how things went down. You'll, you'll be able to help the good guy as opposed to getting yourself involved when you have nothing to do with it. Do with it. it is so hard to identify the situation in advance, if, unless you were there from the very beginning, and very seldom does that, hap does that happen. You are not a white knight. You don't need to be the hero. You don't need to save the day. If somebody starts shooting, absolutely. But until then, be a good witness. Mind your own business. And then thirdly, you need to avoid telling people in advance that you're carrying a gun. And you say, well, what's the big deal about that? Don't you think they should know? Well, if something happens, they're going to say, you know what? Uh, you got the gun. You handle this. And then next thing you know, you're, you're locked up in jail. You're standing in, or you're, you're sitting in a courtroom and your buddies are saying, hey, you know what? Um, he told us that he had the gun. We just stepped back and let him handle it. You know, we, we didn't feel comfortable. And so we figured that, you know, he could handle it and he had the gun. Why would we do that? There is no benefit to doing that. Once again, unless you are in great bodily harm, you don't need anybody to know that you have a gun. It's called CCW, concealed carry weapon. Not, hey, look, I have this carry weapon. Everybody needs to know because I can handle any scenario that comes our way. Bad choice, we need to avoid that entirely. As far as the gun belt, yes, the holster, yes, the right gun, the training, everything else, that all applies, but you never use your gun as a form of intimidation. You need to learn to mind your own business and you need to keep your concealed carry firearm 
private so that you will be there to make yourself, the people around you, and your overall environment a safer place. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.